Bushcraft 101, page 164. Number one, find an easily identifiable object on the other side, if you can see that far, that is in the same line as the bearing you are traveling. Walk around and take another bearing from that object. Number two, if you cannot see the other side of the obstacle, or there is no reliable way to identify something on the other side, then you will need to 90-90-90. With this method, you will use your pace count. Stop at the edge of the obstacle. Turn left or right 90 degrees and pace count until you get beyond the obstacle. Then turn 90 degrees forward and walk until you have avoided the obstacle. If you are pace counting for distance, this leg needs to be recorded. Now turn 90 degrees in the opposite direction and walk the same number of paces you did on the first leg creating a three-sided box. This will bring you back to the bearing you were on before encountering the obstacle. It shows the obstacle. Uh, it shows the original bearing. It shows add 90 degrees, it shows the bearing at 45 degrees, then it says subtract 90 degrees, the bearings at 315 degrees, subtract 90 degrees, and your bearings at 225 degrees, and then add 90 degrees, and your bearings back to the original 315 degrees after you got past that obstacle. Page 165, if you must cross an obstacle, it may be necessary to determine the distance across it. This might be true if you need to cut a tree for assistance in crossing, or if you have a rope and need to determine if it's long enough for a rope crossing. Number one, identify something that you can easily see on the other side of the obstacle. Number two, at the edge of the obstacle, drive a stick into the ground directly in front of the object you identified. Number three, take a compass bearing to that object. Turn left or right and walk a straight line until you achieve a 45 degree difference with a compass reading from the original bearing to the same object. You have now created a right angle. The distance in paces back to your stake will be the same as the distance across the obstacle. Paul, positive as a myth, uniform layout method. Using the Paul method will allow you to scout an unknown area. And figure a straight line bearing back to camp without backtracking by reverse as a myths all the way. This can come in very handy if you have covered quite a bit of distance. To use this method, you will need to set up a log page in your journal for notes. And you will have to record bearings and distance to each point along the way. The easy way to accomplish this and still get your scouting done is to carry a flag or a bandana that is highly visible preferably one that is orange. Take an azimuth from your camp to a distant object in your journal. Record the azimuth and distance as you walk to it. Once you are there, place your flag on the object and continue scouting around the area, but never lose sight of the flag. When you are ready to move on, go back to the flag and take another reading to a distant object. Walk to it, recording the bearing and paces again in your journal. Place the flag on the object and scout around. End of page.